Hey everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about the Switch Pro and Switch Mini. <laughs> Good one. No, really, I'm actually here to talk about at least the Mini part of things. Uh, one thing that happened in Nintendo's investors briefing is that Shintaro Furukawa addressed some of the uh, speculation and rumors out there about a potential Nintendo Switch Pro and Nintendo Switch Mini new hardware. And he had two things to say. One was that Nintendo was always working on new hardware. That's not surprising. This is the same statement Nintendo has given for 30 years. So yeah, Nintendo's always working on new hardware. Surprise! Uh, but really, the big news is that he said that Nintendo does not have any new hardware to announce right now or at E3 2019. Now, following this up, Nikkei came out and stated, uh, literally within hours, that they are confident that the Nintendo Switch Mini, or at least a cheaper version of the Switch, would be arriving this summer. Now, June was a particularly interesting month for this because Bloomberg reported that a Switch Mini or a cheaper model of the Nintendo Switch would be arriving at some point in June, and this is what led to the E3 speculation in the first place. We also know at the end of June is Super Mario Maker on June 28th, and it might make a lot of sense to release a miniaturized version of the system that's handheld only, potentially, for that game, in addition to maybe having an included stylus or something kind of like a 3DS. I don't know, just kind of throwing some speculation out there. It also makes sense to have a smaller version of the Switch that's maybe more portable for Pokemon Sword and Shield later this year. But reality is Nintendo has stated that that's not happening, or at least it's not happening now and it's not happening at E3. Nintendo, however, doesn't really use E3 to announce hardware anymore, and they haven't since the Wii U days. In fact, they announce pretty much all of their hardware whenever they damn well feel like it through a variety of methods. Sometimes it's just through a Nintendo Direct. Sometimes it's just randomly dropped in the middle of an October. Okay, it wasn't so random. They told us it was coming that October. And then they told us about the live event in January of 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. But the point is that these events are just way outside of Nintendo's usual method of unveiling things at E3. And that's because, well, they don't really use E3 to unveil hardware anymore. So them saying they're not going to unveil anything now and they're not going to unveil anything at E3 doesn't actually mean they're not going to unveil anything this year. If he meant, and if Shintura Furukawa wanted to state that there will be no Switch Pro, no Switch Mini, no new hardware from Nintendo in 2019, he would have stated there will be no new hardware in 2019. But that's not what he said. He said no new hardware right now. So he's like at this investors meeting, he's not going to talk about new hardware. He's not going to unveil new hardware. And he's not going to unveil anything at E3. It could still be unveiled before E3. Could be unveiled next month. Could be unveiled the end of June. Could be unveiled whenever. What Nintendo stated does not rule out a Switch Pro or a Switch Mini at all. And I feel like this needs to be addressed on an individual level because I've seen a lot of comments out there, a lot of tweets, even some direct messages to me that, hey, can you please stop talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro, Nintendo Switch Mini, Nintendo squashed all that. And they really didn't. That's the strange thing here. Nintendo usually does squash all that. Uh, remember when the rumors were flying out about a 3DS XL back in the day? Well, Shigeru Miyamoto came in to squash those rumors and said, Absolutely, we are not releasing a new hardware revision anytime soon. Two weeks later, they announced the new Nintendo... Well, I'm sorry, they announced the Nintendo 3DS XL. And then they said they weren't going to do an upgraded hardware version of it. And then six months later, they announced the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Then they said they weren't going to remove features from the 3DS. And then they did the 2DS. So... The point being here, Nintendo lies. Nintendo lies when it's convenient for Nintendo to lie. They lie when it doesn't make sense for them to be talking about a, a, a particular um, piece of hardware uh, really at any point that they're not ready to talk about it. As an example, say a Nintendo Switch Mini for $200 is coming this summer. You think they want to talk about it now? They think You think they want to deter people from buying Switches now? No. In fact, I don't think with a cheaper model of the Switch, they're going to give us much warning about it at all. In fact, I venture to bet they are going to announce and release it within the exact same month. Why? Because then you are not deterring people from buying the Switch before that announcement. So, of course, Nintendo is going to say, oh, we don't have anything to announce right now because that's going to deter 
current Switch sales, and they're going to say, hey, look, about those rumors out there, we're not actually announcing anything at E3. Again, this isn't meant to be anything other than a statement of, hey, look, we don't announce hardware at E3 anyways, so of course we're not announcing at E3, and yeah, feel confident buying a Switch now. That's all they're doing. They're not denying that they're going to be a new model of Switch in 2019. There's not the, the nine, there might be multiple models of Switch. Now, a lot of people that are naysayers out there, a lot of people that don't want to believe this, a lot of people that think people like me are just talking head idiots on the internet, uh, I will point to last year when the rumors were starting to circulate heavily about a Switch Pro and a Switch Mini. What's notable about those rumors last year, though, is hardly any of them stated the system was coming anytime soon. In fact, almost every rumor about a potential cheaper Switch or a Switch Pro last year always referred to 2019. And here we are in 2019, not even halfway over, and more and more rumors keep surfacing from whether it's Bloomberg, whether it's Eurogamer, whether it's Nikkei out of Japan. The only people not talking about it are the people that aren't ready to announce it yet, and that being Nintendo. So this is why I actually believe Nintendo Switch Mini, at least, is coming in 2019, if not also a Pro model or a next-gen version or whatever it ends up being, a minor upgrade, um, a, a revision of the current model, whatever it ends up being. The reason I think we're at least going to get that cheaper model this year is not just because of Pokemon and Mario Maker and Fire Emblem and all these games that have done well in the handheld space, Animal Crossing included, but because Nintendo didn't flat out deny that these things exist. They said, we're always making new hardware, just nothing to announce now and nothing to announce at E3. That's not a denial that they're making new hardware. They openly admit we're always making new hardware. Nintendo's telling you without telling you that they are making something. Just when we're going to see that something is completely in their hands. And again, Nikkei is like just like firm on summer. Wall Street Journal was firm on summer. Bloomberg's firm on summer. Everyone seems to be firm that summer is when we're getting the mini. And even if it doesn't, even if summer comes and goes, we get to September and hey look, Switch Mini still isn't out. That doesn't mean it's not coming yet. Again, it could just be coming out around the time Pokemon's coming. That's always been my thing. I've always felt Switch Mini makes a lot of sense to land in October or November, getting really close to when Pokemon's coming because they did state that Pokemon was going to be made more for the portable aspect of Switch, although you could obviously play it in docked mode. Uh, whereas uh, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee was made specifically for TV mode that you could also play portably. So again, I honestly think that this is... Uh, much to do about nothing. I think Nintendo is just doing what they typically do, except they're not doing what they typically do, and that's what's really strange, because typically Nintendo denies, 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 and just states, no, no new version of the Switch exists or is coming anytime soon. But that's not what they said. And maybe it's just because it's Furukawa, it's new management, uh, he's not as good as, say, Reggie fils or uh, Shigeru Miyamoto are just outright lying to people. And hey, when they drop news of the Switch Mini before E3, when they drop news of the Switch Mini slightly after E3, if that does happen, uh, Nintendo still wouldn't have lied to you because they didn't announce it at E3 and they did announce it now. So uh, that's the funny thing about Shintaro Furukawa's words. They really just rule out now in E3. Hey, we're not going to announce it at E3, but they could still announce it before. Oh, hey, we're not going to uh, announce it now, but we're still going to announce it later. Like it, you got to kind of read between the lines when it comes to Nintendo. They have a history of uh, being very coy and being very um, close to the vest when it comes to their hardware, uh, really more close to the vest than even they are with their software, if you can believe that. And uh, they basically will not tell you anything until the day they show off whatever it is they're working on. And this time around, they're not even denying that they're working on it. They're just saying, not now, not showing it off at E3, or not unveiling it at E3, I guess. was the more We're, we're not going to... We have no new hardware to announce now, or new hardware to announce at E3 was was the exact quotes. And uh, if it's already been announced, <laughs> then it's not technically announced at E3. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to sit back here and enjoy the ride, the roller coaster, the rumors, everything that's coming. Guys, we're getting a new model of Switch. I can guarantee you right now, I don't have any inside sources. I'm just telling you, the history of Nintendo platforms dating back to the NES tells you we're getting a console revision. They have revised every single system they have ever released in the history of Nintendo. They're going to do it again. I just don't know what form or what, what way that revision is going to take. The common thought process is a mini and a pro, uh, a non-dockless version or a smaller version or something more powerful. I don't know. That's kind of the common theories and the common thought processes 
All I can guarantee you, looking at all of you, my Nintendo primers out there, is that, hey, we're getting a revision at some point here because Nintendo always revises their platforms. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway through the Gleam.io link down in the description. That is the bundled version, the special edition that came out last November. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch each and every single one of you in the next video.